Hey everybody, it's Pastor Rhonda. I wanted to stick with prosperity and, and how blessed, and just to remind you how blessed you really are and how blessed God intends you to be. You know, last time we were looking at John 17, uh, 13, about, 13 through 16, about how we are uh, in this world, but we're not of this world. We have a different system, a different kingdom at work in our lives. And that kingdom can bless us no matter what's going on in the kingdoms of the world. Our kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, supersedes this kingdoms, the kingdoms of the world in which we live. John 17, 13 through 16 says this, and now I come to thee, and these things I speak in the world. This is Jesus praying his priestly prayer before he was crucified. He said that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of this world. He said, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. And he asked the Lord, he said, Lord, keep them from the evil that's in this world. I mean, how many of you know there's a lot of stuff going on in our day, a lot of craziness going on out in the world, but we can be kept from that. Uh, he said, I pray not that you would take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil that's in the world. You know what? Poverty and lack is of the devil. I, I tell you, it is. And the Lord wants to keep us from that. Matthew 6, 13 says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God wants you delivered from the evil that's in this world. It says, For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Galatians 1, 4 who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father. He gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil will world. And he said, according to the will of God, that is the will of God that we should be delivered from this present evil age. John 17, 16 and 17. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. We are sanctified from the world through the word. Sanctified means separated and cut away from the effects of. You are a separated people called by the name of the Most High God. You're sons and daughters of the Most High God. And as such, you are separated and cut away from the evil things that are in our, in our society and from the, the things of the enemy that would try to encroach upon our lives. Romans 8, 2 says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made us free from the law of sin and death. I tell you, there's a different law in our kingdom. And that is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. And that law has made us free from the law of sin and death. And poverty and lack is part of that law of sin and death that we've been set free from. In God's system or kingdom, we're not just to survive, we're to thrive. Glory to God. God wants you blessed. He wants you prospered. And He is not limited by what's going on. In fact, we're to flourish in spite of what is going on. You know what? When the uh, 2008 recession came, we as a church decided that we simply weren't going to participate. We all chose. We're not going to participate in this recession. It's in the world, but it's not in our world. We, have, we are in the kingdom of God inside of this world and the laws of the kingdom of God supersede the laws of this world. So we chose not to participate in what was going on out here. And I'll tell you, we got report after report after report of how uh, people were blessed in that time uh, in, uh, when everything was going down and when it was economic downturn, we still remained blessed. Why? Because we believed. 
that we weren't just subject to this world, but that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of which we are a part, superseded the kingdom of this world. I tell you, it is true of you. You are in this world, but you're not of this world. The laws of the kingdom of heaven apply in your life. Believe that, receive it, and take what is yours by authority in the name of Jesus. Amen. Love you guys. See you next time.